Hello everyone, it's Irma Haggith from AmazeYourMindLabyrinths.com and I'm here today to show you how to use the 11 circuit finger walking labyrinth board. This is a beautiful 11 circuit board based on the labyrinth in Chart, France which is actually 43 feet wide and this labyrinth is usually walked with our feet when it is 43 feet wide but today that we're going to use the replica of that in the Corian and we're going to walk it with our fingers. And what I love about labyrinths is that they are such a metaphor for our life and how we live it. Whatever you bring to a labyrinth, whatever you have on your mind or going on in your life, the labyrinth has this lovely, wonderful way of reflecting it back to you. And if you're really open and aware, you can really see and get inspiration and motivation from the labyrinth to maybe make some changes that might be necessary for you to make. So as I move into this labyrinth, again, I can move into it with a mantra, with a prayer, with an intention. Whatever you choose to bring to the labyrinth, you can bring. So I move into this labyrinth. You can see as I move in, it's a left-hand turn. And then the next thing you know, what I love about labyrinths is the center can be a perceived goal. And you see how quickly I got close to the center? only to be sent back out away from it again. So what happens in our life when life throws us a curveball and we think we're on our way to our goal and the next thing you know we're moving away from it. See here again I'm close to it and moving away from it again. And isn't that what happens in life? Life throws us these wonderful little curveballs and the next thing you know we're moving away from our intended goal. And that's what I love about the labyrinth. It has this wonderful way of showing us this. And now here I am on the outside turns. And again, moving in closer to that center. Moving with ease through all of these turns. 180 degree turns. So you, you're going along, chug, chug, chug towards your goal. And all of a sudden that curveball comes. And oh, I'm going back in the other direction. I've got to retrace my steps. What's going on? Here's another turn. Here's another change. Next thing you know, here you are at your goal. Wow! Here I am in the center. This is a six-petaled center of the labyrinth. You can stay in the center. You can move from petal to petal if you want. Whatever feels good for you or right for you. You can take your three deep breaths here. You can visualize here. And when you're ready, you can start your journey back out. The idea is that you always go in and you always come back out without lifting your finger off the board. This is very important. You won't have a complete experience of walking a labyrinth if you don't go all the way in and come all the way back out. And if you listen to these instructions and you do that, you go in and you don't come back out, you just take your finger off and that's it then I'd have to ask you, how many unfinished things do you have in your life? When I first started walking labyrinths, I was walking uh, this particular design downtown Eaton Centre, Toronto, and some young people were walking it, young men, and one was walking it with intention and uh, following the lines all the way in and all the way back out, but there was another young man that had passed me, and he easily got bored with it and started walking and jumping across the lines back out. And I thought to myself, and I said it out loud to him, I said, well, how many things in your life do you take shortcuts in? And he sort of just glared at me, wondering how I knew that. He showed it to me by how he walked the labyrinth. He read the instructions before he entered, but then he took shortcuts to come back out. He got too quickly bored with it. And a labyrinth is all about the journey, not the destination. So please, Continue to use them, continue to explore all the magic and wonder that labyrinths have to show us. And thank you for joining us here today. Namaste.